Following the release of the much anticipated Kemi Adetiba movie King of Boys to Return, Richard Mofe Damijo, popularly known as RMD, who played the role of Reverend Ifiani in the movie, has taken to a social media platform, his Instagram page, precisely to express frustration on how he was pushed to his limits and literally tried by his director Kemia Deteba while filming the movie King of Boys. According to him and in his own world, Richard Mofet Damijo said, on the last day of my filming King of Boys, I probably had done a little over 15 hours. It was past 2 a.m. and I had a 7 a.m. flight to catch that morning, but Kemi dated by my director was not done. Going further to explain what happened, he said, we kept on. At about 3 a.m., she knew she had pushed me to my limit. It was a tense moment. I was quiet but raging inside. Shola Shubawali came to talk to me to know if I could continue and just finish, even though I had at this time probably done like 17 hours or thereabouts. Kemi walks up to me to say, she knows she has pushed too far, and if I left the set, she wouldn't hold it against me. Having gone over my time on set and all, I looked at everything on that set, and everybody waiting to know if the shoot would continue with me or not. My manager was a raging bull at this point. He wanted to pull me out. He kept reminding me of my presentation that day in Benin, the need to catch some sleep before my trip. I knew I couldn't walk away. My body was broken and it threatened my health. But this job and my passion and commitment sometimes drives even me insane. I stayed on and opted to finish. By past 4 a.m., we managed to wrap my scenes in King of Boys. My flight was like two hours away and I still needed to get home to pack for the trip. But at that moment, I knew we had created magic and that Reverend Ifiani had come to the party to stake his claim. Twist. Tears, sweat, grit, professionalism, passion, joy, commitment, name it. My performance and story in the filming of this series is only a small part of the kind of commitment and performances that Kemi was able to pull out of every cast and crew. She was able to do this only because she led by example and that was all I saw every time she went over shoot time. Congratulations Kemi. Hope the audience connects to this and enjoy it the way we did when making this. You are a great talent. Respect. Responding to this, Kemi Adetipa, the director of the much anticipated movie King of Boys, The Return, said, Uncle Mufe, thank you so, so much. You are an absolute star and it's been my my honor to have worked with you on two of my projects i absolutely adore you and yes thank you for that day here's to many more collaborations and wins artists and actresses have taken under that post to comment and show solidarity and also reiterate Mufada Mijo's point that Kemi Adetiba literally works them to their bones. Shalashi Babali has said it severally in interviews that every time she had to be on set that is directed by Kemi Adetiba, she's been pushed to her limit. Mufada Mijo has also attested to the fact that Kemi Adetiba pushes them to their limit. If you are wondering what this movie is, this movie is King of Boys. It's a much expected movie that is supposed to be released very soon in august on netflix the streaming platform it stars shola shobawale it stars tony tones it stars richard mufe damijo and a host of other amazing actors if you're wondering who richard mufe damijo is is not a stranger to our screens he's been in the entertainment movie industry for a very long time now since the 1990s and is one of the actors who has managed to remain on our screen not fading but constantly and continually growing and giving us more and making us wanting more from them he was born in a larger community of udu kingdom near worry delta state he attended the midwest college worry and anglican grammar school and he was a member of the drama club afterwards he studied theater at at the university of benin 
But in 1997, Richard Mofet Damijo returned to university to study law at the University of Lagos and he graduated in 2004. After graduating from university, that is when he studied theatre at the University of Benin, he took part in a television soap opera in the late 80s that is called Ripples. But before then, most people do not know that this veteran actor and almost everybody's aspired sugar daddy to be <laughs> had a stint with Concord newspapers and Metro magazine as a reporter. So he used to be a journalist before his advent into movies. Out of Bonds was the very first film for which he received a writer or producer credit. So yes, Richard Mofet Damijo is not just an actor, he is a writer, he is a producer also. In 2005, the very first edition of the African Movie Academy Awards, Mofet Damijo won the award for Best Actor in a leading role but not just that this prolific actor is also a politician he was appointed as the special advisor of culture and tourism to the then governor of Delta State, Emmanuel Oduan, in 2008. Then he also became the commissioner for culture and tourism in 2009. And then when its tenure expired in 2015, he came back with full force into the acting scene, into the movie scene. I feel like between 2008 and 2015 was when most of our celebrities took up political appointments. In the Edo had political appointments. A lot of these guys had political appointments and they went a little bit under the radar. I'm saying no, Desmond Elliott and all of them, they went a little bit under the radar. But then following that, at the end of their tenure, they all come back to do amazing things. Speaking of one thing that this man also did, because he's actually 60 years old, he clocked 60 this year and to commemorate it he said while he was a commissioner in delta state and when he clocked 50 he wanted to pierce his ears but he wasn't sure how the people of delta state would respond to a commissioner with earrings and so celebrating him clocking 60 and him living life and taking life as it is he decided to pierce both ears and richard mofeda major sports earrings now and moving on from that let's talk about his personal life aside from his political career and in clocking system richard moffat damijo used to be married to a nigerian journalist or publisher may elaine ezekiel or mee as she's fondly called but she died in 1996 after they've had a couple of children from that marriage so he remarried TV personality Jumo B. Adegbeson, who later left TV for the corporate world. He currently has four children, two with his current wife and two from his previous marriage. Since acting in Out of Bonds in 1997 that brought him into limelight, Richard Moffat Damijo has gone ahead to feature in over 100 movies, cutting away several hours. Some of his works include 10 Days in Sun City, Out of Bounds, O Stages, Cost to Settle, Love is World, The King of Boys, The Return, which is his most recent body of work that stars Lashu Babale, Tony Tones, Reminis, and Eobliz. He won the 2009 Fifth Movie Academy Awards as the best film in Nigeria. He won the 2017 African Movie Viewer's Choice Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role. And one other fun fact about him is that Richard Moffat Damijo is a devout Christian and religious leader. He still takes Sunday school services and teaches Sunday school in his church. He says whenever he's chance the opportunity to be in church because he loves to pass down knowledge, he is a Sunday school teacher. Alright guys, that is the end of this video. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to this channel if you're yet to do that. Like and give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.